Welcome to Fontaine Photography. I'm Jen, I'm the owner. We specialize in helping women of any age, shape, size, or confidence level look and feel beautiful in portraits. We focus on branding, headshots, glam, boudoir, and family portraits. Today we're gonna do something super fun. I'm gonna give you a never before seen glimpse into all that goes into creating the perfect branding photo shoot. Our top priority with every photo shoot is to make it as easy, enjoyable, and simple. So all you have to do is show up and have fun and we do all the heavy lifting for you. If you're wondering what happens behind the scenes, I'm gonna give you a glimpse into all the details and share all my secrets into creating dream branding photo shoots. In this behind the scenes video, you're gonna learn how to conduct a brand audit for yourself, how to style your wardrobe for a branding photo shoot, how to create content for an entire year, and how to select the best images that it is going to match your brand perfectly. So let's get started. Before every photo shoot, I give myself a brand audit and this is exactly what I do for my clients as well. Being able to look at your business from an objective point of view will help you improve your conversion rate from lead to client, you're gonna learn your strengths and weaknesses, which will help you create a stronger brand message. You'll have a better idea of how the general public receives your brand. You'll be able to catch any potential issues that will convert eyes into clients and help you make more money. So before I start planning any photo shoot and before I will even start thinking about what I want to do for my own photo shoot, I will go through my website and see what needs to be updated to help give me inspiration so I know exactly what I want to shoot for. And this is exactly what I do for my clients as well. So when we go through websites, we're going to be looking for the following things. We're going to make sure that you have a clear message on your homepage. We're going to make sure that you have multiple call to action throughout your entire website so people will know how to book you. We're gonna make sure that you have eye-catching images, for sure. We're gonna make sure that you are solving your client's problems throughout your entire website. We're gonna make sure that it is easy to navigate throughout your entire website so it's a user-friendly experience. We're gonna make sure that you have an effective way to capture emails, which is so important. And we're gonna make sure that there is clear offers, services, and products laid out through your entire website so people know exactly what you do and they're excited to fill out the form or book a call with you for more information. And lastly, we're gonna make sure that your website is optimized for cell phone as well because the majority of people that will be looking at your website will be done so through their phones. So after I go through my client's websites, I then go and look at their social media. So I want to look at everything that you're doing across all marketing channels to make sure that you have a consistent brand message and consistent imagery and a consistent style. So when I go through my client's social media, and I will also be doing this for myself to make sure that I'm creating the best content for my brand. So I'm going to look for number one is, are you consistent across all platforms? When someone visits your Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, website, does it look like it's from the same business or is there a disconnect somewhere? Are you posting consistently? Is your content engaging and is your messaging aligned with your brand value? And a step that is so often overlooked is, do you have a link in bio? Do you have multiple links where people can go click to and then see all the different services you offer? Also different ways to contact you and different ways to work with you. And do you have call to actions on every single one of your posts? You wanna be able to lead your audience through the client journey and get them to book a call with you or send you a message or however else you want them to communicate with you. And lastly, do people know who you are? That is exactly what personal branding is. It is just sharing to the world who you are and what you do. So you wanna make sure that you are doing that in your social media posts, throughout your website, and any other marketing materials. People are going to work with you because they know you, like you, and trust you, and you wanna make sure that you're creating content that will help them get them to that place. I see so many brands and businesses just wing it with their social media content and even their website content, and these are the reasons why you should not wing it. The content on your website needs to be intentional. Same with social media. If you're just posting a random cell phone, pretty picture of yourself, you're missing out on connecting with your audience, which is losing you potential customers. 
each piece of visual branding content needs to help your audience get to know you, like you, and trust you. Each photo that you post needs to be consistent and on brand with the style and vibe you're trying to create. When someone sees a piece of content from you on LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, or on your website, they should already automatically know that it's from you. That is the power of a strong personal brand. They don't even need to see the name, they know who you are. You need to track your metrics. If you aren't doing this, this will be a game changer. Go check out your social media, go see what posts are getting the most engagement, the most likes, the most comments, the most shares, the most saves, and we're gonna be able to create content specifically around your audience. So this is gonna be content that your audience is already currently engaging with, currently liking, and we're just gonna create more of that. And do the same thing for your website. Go check out your analytics and see what pages are performing the best. See what pages have the biggest bounce rate, what pages people are staying on the longest, and what pages are the most popular. Then we're really gonna be able to create images that your people want to see. Okay, and this one is not to hurt anyone's feelings, but crappy cell phone photos with bad lighting can actually hurt your brand. The majority of consumers are gonna to go to Google or social media to find a business, and you wanna make sure that you can grab their attention in less than five seconds. People have a very short attention span, so we wanna make sure that we're creating images that are scroll stopping. This is my favorite quote from Forbes. It says, if you had to choose between a business with clear professional looking branding and a business that hasn't made this effort, you'd probably know which one you'd trust more. And trust is the key word here. You could be the absolute best at what you do, but if you're not putting that out there, people aren't going to just assume you're amazing at what you do. Someone with strong, professional looking branding is probably going to get more clients than you because people will just assume that they can get them better results. So after I went through my website and my social media, I realized that I need the following photos. I need a variety of facial expressions, me looking strong, confident, having fun, being goofy, all different aspects of my personality. I realized that I wanted to brand my experience more. So the personalized one-on-one -on -one attention that I give to each of my clients, like handwritten letters, personalized brand packaging, wallard installation, our products like albums, prints, folio boxes, personalized brand audits, and all the other things we offer for our clients. I also wanted to make sure that I'm showcasing how much fun we have during our photo shoots because that is a huge part of our process. I also realized I want to take more photos with like a day in the life vibe. This is gonna help my audience get to know me more, like me more, and trust me more. I also wanted to showcase the different stages of our process, like our consultations, the photo shoot, hair and makeup, wardrobe styling, and everything else that we offer to our clients. And this is why it's so important to hire a branding photographer that knows what they're doing. If this isn't your expertise, it can take a lot of time, energy, and effort, and you're gonna get better results if you hire a professional. So this is exactly what I do for my clients. It may seem like a lot of work, but the consultations that we have with our clients are under one hour usually. We're able to plan out, style, and create your dream photo shoot in one hour. And this is one of the most helpful tools that we provide all of our branding clients. It is 50 ways to use your branding images. This is gonna give you all the inspiration you need to think outside the box and create creative ways to market your brand. If you're getting overwhelmed and thinking about what type of content you wanna create for your brand, ask yourself these questions. What objections do my clients have when they decide to work with me? What parts of my personality or personal life do I want to showcase in my business personal branding? What are the top three reasons why clients want to work with you? What does your client journey look like and how do you want to showcase that in images? What is your superpower and how are you going to portray that in the images that you're going to create? What content performs better on social media? So this is another reminder to track your metrics. And what is something unique about your process that you can showcase that will set you apart from everyone else in your area? Welcome to my closet. We are at my favorite part of the design process, figuring out what to wear. It is 
usually my client's biggest pain point because they think it's gonna be very challenging, overwhelming, but we make it as easy as possible. We go to all of our clients' homes and go into their closet and pick out exactly what they should wear so you guys don't have to do a single thing. At this stage of the design process, we should have the overall style of what we wanna create during the photo shoot. So now I just gotta pick out outfits that can match that style. Let's just say you're a high-end luxury real estate agent. You want to showcase in your images how strong, powerful, and confident you are. You probably wouldn't want to wear some old baggy ripped jeans or a casual top. You're most likely gonna to wanna to go with like a power suit in a bold color that matches your brand or a really awesome dress and a blazer. Or maybe you're a children's counselor and you want your images to showcase how welcoming, friendly, approachable, and inviting you are. A power suit would not be a good option for you. Probably something more casual like jeans and a nice blouse or a nice sweater. Once we nail down the style, we move on to color scheme. If your color scheme is green and blue, probably a hot pink blazer is not gonna be your best option. You're gonna wanna stick to the different shades of blues and greens and incorporate neutral colors. This is gonna give you more flexibility and you're gonna be able to use your images in a variety of ways. You don't need to match your exact branding colors, but it should be complimentary and when in doubt, go neutral. <laughs> Next up is accessories and props. Remember, we wanna show people who you are and what you do and props and accessories is a great way to do that. If you love big earrings and big jewelry, then bring that. If you're not a jewelry person, then scratch the jewelry. If you love hats and funky glasses, then we want to also incorporate that into your photos. We want to show people your personality and props and accessories is a great way to do that. So what are some props and accessories that you could incorporate into your photo shoot? Laptop, cell phone, flats, <laughs> crystals, funky mugs, journals, any products you have or any branded content. And for example, if you're into healthy lifestyle, you may want to incorporate some weights, a yoga mat, or even healthy food. So remember to think outside the box. We want to create images that are scroll stopping and fun accessories and props are a great way to make that happen. Now I want to show you guys how I selected my outfits for my photo shoot. So I wanted to go with three styles. Number one, casual upscale. Two, professional and confident. And three, quirky and fun. First outfit, jeans and a t-shirt, is basically what I live in every single day. So I wanted to include that into my branding photos. A great way to elevate this look is adding a blazer and a pair of heels. And we're gonna be using a couple of accessories with this look as well. We're gonna be using funky mugs and journals, and I can't wait for you guys to see these images. These are gonna be super casual and really fun. The next outfit I chose is this super cute green blazer, and we have a lace top that will go underneath with some dress pants. This will be our professional and confident look. This green blazer matches with my branding colors, and I'm super excited to use it. Wait till you see the accessory, we will be matching with this outfit. Okay, check this thing out guys. We will be pairing this with our green blazer. Gonna be a money gun. Wait till you see these photos. Next, I wanted to create some super fun, funky, show my personality type of photos. So I chose these cute PJs. And we're also gonna do a spa set. So I will have a bathrobe with my hair in a towel and some super fun, funky glasses. Like these ones. <laughs> I'm Lindsay from Dollface. I'm Jen's exclusive hair and makeup artist. I get to know each client before we start makeup and hair so I can make sure I'm providing them exactly what they want. If you don't know what type of makeup you want, don't worry. I've been working as a makeup artist for 14 years and will make sure you look your best. For your photo shoot, we do multiple looks. A lot of our clients like to start off more natural, then glam up the makeup for the second half of the shoot. Doing this helps create more variety in your images so it doesn't look like everything came from one photo shoot. Our top priority is helping our clients feel comfortable and making sure that they have fun. You don't need to worry about posing or what to do with your hands. We'll position you and guide you through each pose and facial expression. 
you will look natural and confident. Our studio doesn't do awkward or stiff photos, and we promise everyone is photogenic. Our studio helps women of all ages, shapes, and sizes look and feel beautiful in photos. The photo shoot is over and now it's time to view and select your images. We help our clients select their images right after the photo shoot which creates happier clients and shorter turnaround time for your finished portrait. It takes me about 30 minutes to get your images up on our computer ready to be seen. In the meantime, clients like to pack up, they can grab lunch or coffee down the street or just relax on our couch with champagne in hand. Our fridge is always stocked with drinks and we have lots of snacks available. The bonus of having someone help you with your purchasing decision is that you'll have an outside and professional opinion, which is super important for branding images. I'll be able to help guide you on what images will work best for your website, social media, or any other marketing material. It's so great to know you're not alone and that you have someone that has the same goal as you, to elevate your brand and bring in more money. So this is how I select my photos, and this is also how I help my clients select theirs. It's super simple, it's an easy process, and what I do is I like to divide them up into three categories. The categories are headshots, personality shots, and what I do shots. Why do we need these three categories? So your branding images need to give your audience the ability to get to know you, like you, and trust you before they even book a call with you, submit a form on your website, contact you on social media, wherever they're finding you. You need to build up that know, like, and trust factor. So let's go over each of these categories. Headshots, these are gonna be great and so versatile because you can create whatever type of caption or copy with these photos and you're not gonna be limited to where you can use them. This is gonna allow your audience to get to know you. Next up is personality shots. These images are going to let your audience get to like you. It gives them a sneak peek into what it would be like to be in your world or to work with you. These are the type of photos that are going to attract your ideal clients and this will allow your audience to get to like you. And lastly is what I do shots. These are photos that are gonna describe what you do in your business. These are gonna be easy prompts on social media, easy for captions, blog posts, work with me pages, all of those types of content that you need for your website, as well as we're going to nurture your audience. We're gonna let them know exactly what it's gonna be like to work with you. And as business owners, we wear many hats. So there's a lot of different aspects to our business and it's really important to highlight each aspect so your audience knows what to expect when they do decide to hire you and what that client journey is going to look like. This is going to allow your audience to trust you. And bam, we got it our no like and trust factor in three easy steps. And that's how we create dream branding photo shoots for our clients and as you saw for myself as well. So thank you so much for taking the time to learn more about our process. I hope you feel more inspired to take charge of your personal branding and marketing. And if you're considering booking a branding photo shoot for yourself or for your team, I would love to chat. You can contact us through our website at www.fontainephotography.ca or find us on social media at Jen Fontaine Photography. 
We also have a lot of free resources and workshops to help elevate your brand. And you can find them in our VIP Facebook group. We have our workshops like top money making images. We have our branding images that make money workshop. We have 50 ways to use your branding images guide. We have how to style your branding wardrobe in 10 minutes or less. And we have a lot more. So you can just search on Facebook, Jen Fontaine's VIP Facebook group, and you can get access to all of that content for free right away, as well as an incredible group of women, other local business owners that you can connect with. And it is just a really great place to be. So with that being said, I hope to chat with you soon. And thanks again for watching. chewing in my voiceover. <laughs> Anything crispy especially. Okay. You're going to be able to do something. This, and you're going to be able to <laughs> and see what pages. Ha 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 Welcome to Fontaine Photography. I have no swagger. Before seeing a glimpse into oh my god, what am I gonna say? Into all that it our top priority. Oh man. Lecture real little bit that way. You don't need to class. Yeah, and can you give me two thumbs up for awesome, thank you. Then we just have to go through the social media.